Yep, it's Eureka Moments. You're welcome once again. And today is going to be very interesting because we have with us in the house Tayo Oloshunde. Now, he is a man that wears great hats. So I'm very particular about not saying many hats because it depends on what kind of hats you wear. So I'll say great hats. And we've chosen him as our guest on Eureka Moments today for specific reasons, one of which is that he carries the... Um, audience that we're trying to reach out to and that's the young and aspiring now i've known him for a couple of years and i've wondered how he's been able to consistently impact lives and these are young people and i've met some of these young people and they're doing amazingly well and what we do here at eureka moments is very similar we're trying to reach out to the young and aspiring making them understand what a eureka moment really is so we have Mr. Tayo Loshinde with us today, and he's going to be discussing with us what Eureka moments are. You are welcome, sir. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. I would love you to first of all tell me a little bit about Mind the Gap. Shed light on it. Obviously, I know all about it, but we want everyone to know what it's all about. Okay, thank you very much for this opportunity. Just, just like Nim says, Mind the Gap. Um, the truth of the matter is, Mind the Gap you know, started initially as a platform for us to help Nigerian youth, especially graduates, who are leaving the university and quite unsure of what to do to bridge the gap between their university experience and the labor market. Okay. It was just a pure effort to just help these people to know what it because knowing fully well that I have a background of almost about eight years in human resources okay. and in my experience of eight years I've been privileged to maybe like review almost about 10,000 CVs and I found out in my experience that some of sometimes the little things that don't get people employment mm -hmm. is as little as just the little things you know, so, I mean, and people used to complain about the fact that hey, Nigerian youths are just unemployable. And I'm like, you know what? It's not that bad. Mm. Right? It's just that there are some little gaps here and there that some of us who think we know better need to help them to mind. Um, we, we recognize that instead of talking about the problem about Nigerian youths not being employable, okay. we would rather provi provi prov provide a solution. And that is why the name Mind the Gap came in. Rather than just talking about Rather than talk about the problem, rather than talk about the gap, Mind that okay. Gap. Right. So Mind the Gap was speaking into every stakeholder. Number one, it was speaking to the target audience, which is the young people, yeah. to let them realize that you have gaps. Okay. Like every other person's got gaps. Sure. Right. So we want to help you to realize that this gap you've got is not a death sentence. We can fix it. So, level one is talk, talk to young people to realize that their gaps are not, it's not, it's not a death sentence. It can be fixed. Yes. Even if we finish with a fourth class, a B, as in no class at all, we can fix it. Then we talk to the so-called professionals and business owners who think, who, who makes a big issue out of what Nigerian graduates are finishing university with and they don't want to touch it. Mm. And we say to them, hey, you know what? Look, if we don't fix it, you know, you're actually sitting on a keg of a gunpowder, i.e. you're setting up yourself. All right. Then we spoke to, we, we started speaking all to, all to employers. I mean, you can't talk about Nigerian graduate not having skills. The question is, what are you investing in them? Okay. Right. So, so basically, Mind the Gap started as an effort to really mind the gap, to fix whatever, you know, you know what we are saying amongst the Nigerian youth, amongst the professionals, and in the corporate space that needed to be pull together yeah. to create the society that all of us truly desire. Yeah. It's called the collective intelligence of every single one of us. And that sprang out of one of the most profound statement of the Nigerian second, the second stanza of the national anthem okay. of Nigerian that says, help our youths the truth to know. So that's why um, when I was thinking of coming, you know, to have this interview with you and speak with you on Eureka Moments, it came to mind that um, what you do here with Mind the Gap is actually what this show stands to do. Mm -hmm. Because we have young and aspiring 
I choose to say young and aspiring because the aspiring person might just not be so young, mm -hmm. but yeah. has not been able to find their feet all their life. Yes. Yes. So what are Eureka moments? How important are they? And who are the target audience? Mm. Almost the same target audience as yours. Okay. Okay. These people you've walked with over the years, these people that you've impacted over the years, mm -hmm. and what was the simple method of making these changes? Okay. What was that method? Helping them the truth to know. Okay. How do you help them to know the truth? Exactly. By changing their mindsets, exactly. by making them understand what you think is not actually what you really need to know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know one thing you need to appreciate, and I love the name Eureka. Okay. Because for me, that, that is that singular experience that every single human being needs to have for your humanity to unfold. Absolutely. Because all of us are, lo we are, we are, lock we are locked in, 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 in huge dimensions of what we don't know. Okay. And our life will not improve yeah. until we have that sense of, oh, wow. When something that has been shrouded, something you don't know, somebody wants to be successful in life, it's not, because, it's not going to come from heaven. You just need to have some understanding of what you need to do, where you need to be. Some understanding. Some understanding. Now, Eureka moments are, for me, um, I define Eureka moments as moments of discovery. Yes. Moments of light. Mm. Moments of a new dawn. Yes. You're walking in some level of darkness. Yes. You're probably done with school. You just yes. finished university. Yes. Or whatever it is that you're doing. And you're about to start the journey. What is that journey? Exactly. I think the journey starts in the mind. Yes. Because everything is to do with the mind. Yes. What you're thinking in your mind is, I want to be this. I want to get to this place. That's where the journey starts. Yeah. How do I get there? What am I going to do? And you're seeing different people that you can call mentors or you people that you look up to in that particular place that you want to be. But you don't know how to get there. Exactly. Now you're finding the gap between them and, and their dreams exactly. and their success exactly. and places of achievement. Mm -hmm. Eureka moments are those moments where they begin to realize what to do to get there. You know, I remember the story of a lady I met in 2011 okay. that she started crying when we started speaking with her. Okay. And she said, nobody has ever spoken to me the way you looked me straight in the eye and you said to me, you need to, you need to get your life together. You can make it. Mm. And she said, at that moment, which was an eureka moment for her, she realized that I can make it. Why, why does it require somebody else engaging you <laughs> before you come to that realization? Yes. You know, and, and, and that's the funny thing about your local moment. Yeah. You, you need to work it out. You need to ensure you can put yourself in an environment where it can happen. Where it can happen. Put yourself, that's a nice one. Put yes. yourself in an environment where your Eureka moments moment can, can happen. happen. Yes. And, but another thing I realize is that some people do have Eureka moments, but don't even realize it. Yes. Some have had not one, not two, not three different moments of discovery. Yes. But just because they don't even know what a Eureka moment is, they find it hard to believe that this has, had, this has anything, that this has anything to, to do, do with, with their success. Yes. You know, there's something fundamental in what we do here. For example, there's something that's called, there's a model that we normally take our approach that's called moving from, you know, from creativity to innovation. Okay. And one of the lessons we got out of this particular issue is to realize that every single human being has been given the ability to creatively get out of trouble. Every human being. But that won't happen until you have a spark of this is how. This is how. The how is that Eureka moment. Yes. When I, I'm in trouble. How am I going to get out? Everybody is in trouble. Everybody, so, everybody is in trouble. Yes, yes. One of my mentors Absolutely. says, at any stage in your life, you are either running out of a trouble or you are heading for another. <laughs> <laughs> Every day of your life. Wow. And that is why you need to be careful what you say, where you go, Absolutely. how you do things. Because one word can actually link up to several other problems that you can have. Mm. And one word that we call, you know, words of destiny. Yeah. You can say one word that can be a link 
that's going to connect you with every single thing you need for the rest of your life. I mean, I was privileged on October, on August 30, I remember very well, I was sharing the platform with the vice president at, at, at the villa, and I, and I made a statement. And when I came back from the podium, about two people came to me and was like, what do you mean by that, that digital technology is the live wire of every business? Digital technology. Is the live wire. No, no, it's, 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 the, it's the oxygen okay. of every business. And it was like, what do you mean by that? And I explained myself. Um, from that, we have several other business opportunities evolving just out of by just by statement. that one statement. One statement. And for him, it was like, it just got the light. Yeah, he said, the oxygen. You know, you know what oxygen, how oxygen is to the body. Mm. But he couldn't connect oxygen to business. Okay. <laughs> that every business has an oxygen that it yeah. lives on. Okay. So if you deoxygenate a business, it dies. Yeah. So it was like, is in that state when it feels that breath is, is losing breath yeah. <laughs> out of what it was doing. And you're saying digital technology is the oxygen of business in 21st century. So he asked me to break it and I broke it down for him right from analyzing what you want to produce goods or services. Yeah. You need to know how to use digital technology. Yeah. Right from knowing how to, your, how to produce your goods and services. Yeah. You need to use digital technologies. Right from even marketing your product. You need to use digital technology. So end to end, when, when we finished, he was like, thank you. Wow. I said, you said, I came to, this, to the villa just to hear this. And for him, so... This happens regularly. Every one of us, we have these questions we are always asking in our mind. Talking about setting up an atmosphere, a Eureka moment. You will find yourself in several momentous Eureka moments when you have questions. You have questions. questions. Questions about every single thing. Okay. Because Eureka moment is an answer to a question. Okay. So we're going to go on a short break right now. And when we get back, we're going to be talking about how to discover or how to identify a eureka moment in your life yeah. and then we're also going to be talking about how to mind the gap yes how has he been able how has he been able to make people mind the gaps and those differences that it's made in their lives so far so don't go anywhere because we'll be right back You're welcome back. It's Eureka Moments and we're with Tayo Loshunde of Mind the Gap. He is a very, very wonderful man. He's done so much. He's committed himself to this movement. I choose to call it a movement because it evolves from time to time. And before we went away, we were trying to talk about Eureka Moments, um, how it happens in the mind and the power of the mind and being able to understand the truth that you need to know in order for you to get to where you want to go or supposed to go. In some cases, it's where you want to. Sometimes where you want to go is not the actual place. Then you get to find out. A eureka moment could be that moment where you realize all the while you've been going down the wrong path. And this is where I really need to go, or this is what I'm really made of. I had an experience like that with Mr. Ty. I told him sometime, you know, it was a eureka moment. It was a dawning, like, oh, really? I don't think we're supposed to be going down this path at all. Mm -hmm. And it just happened in a discussion. He didn't know about it. <laughs> Exactly. I told him many years after that exactly. we were at a meeting and he just made a statement and I went back and thought so much about it and I was like, okay, so this is what I really need to do. Oh, and that made an absolute transformation wow. in my life. Wow. And I can imagine how many differences yeah. and impact you've yeah. been able to make. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said earlier, what are those things or, or, or what tools do you use to change the minds of these young people in, a, in order for them to be able to get to where they're going to? The number one is hunger. Okay. You know. Do you create that hunger? Oh yes, you have to. You create the you hunger have to in stimulate, them. Yes. You oh. Have to help them to stimulate hunger. Oh, but are there people that are already hungry when you oh, meet them? Oh yes, actually. We discovered there are four types of youth, youth yeah. in Nigeria, anywhere. Okay. And mm -hmm. the four types of youth are number one, the self-driven. Okay. The discerning. Okay. The indifferent. Okay. Then the dissolution. It's strange because it became very important for us to do a, a, a very thorough analysis of the markets okay. of the people that we are dealing with. Yes, because yes. if you don't know the people that you are dealing with, you'll be using different kinds of tools to try and reach them. So mm -hmm. I, I was on this Oxford 
online you know, mentoring program and my mentor asked me to analyze my market. Okay. And I realized that we have out of the 84 million Nigerian youth today, okay. we have only 5% of them that are self-driven. Five percent. And these are the quality of the five driven guys. They know what they want to do. They are doing it and they are willing to invest in themselves to okay. do it. Okay. Unfortunately, they are only five percent. The second category are the um, 35 percent. Okay. The 35 percent guy, they are the discerning. Okay. They don't know exactly what they want to do. Okay. But when they see someone talks about what so kind of resonates with them, 